Let's take a look at the new Barazza ESP. Hopper. Today we're going to take a look at this Barazza Encore ESP grinder and it's one of the cheapest grinders that I can recommend for espresso. This one is an updated version of the extremely popular Barazza Encore. This one has got 40 settings up here and what's really interesting about it is that the first 20 settings are meant for espresso and the next settings 20 up to 40 are meant for other brew methods such as pour over. Now that is a very interesting in and of itself. It also has a pretty good resolution on this side. It does allow you to grind more than fine enough for espresso. Currently in here I've got beans from Costco and even with that being the case, I'm grinding right around 15, which is where they recommend that you start. So there's still a lot of range left here for espresso. Now this Barazza ESP uses an upgraded M3 version of their burrs. It's a 40 millimeter burr. And what's really cool about that is the fact that you can remove the burr and clean it on your own without any tools at all. Let's take a look at the new burr set in the Barazza ESP. Just turn the bean hopper counterclockwise and remove it. To get to the outer burr, just lift out like so. And that is what it looks like right there. Moving on to the inner burr, you have to turn this clockwise to loosen. So let's loosen that nut. Let's remove the inner burr. This is the new inner burr geometry. Now we can go ahead and put it back together. Just slide the inner burr back in place and let it drop down. Put that washer back on. Turn this nut counterclockwise to tighten. Excellent. And now line up the outer burr, that red dash to the red dash here. And now we can put in the bean hopper. Look for the little notch there that goes right there. And use two hands to turn this. And that is a new burr set on the Barazza ESP. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Now going further with this machine, it is a small one. It is very light. It's made out of plastic. You can hear that. And you have to consider, well, for the build, I mean, that's what you could expect. Certainly a plastic housing. I think that they put a lot of money rather into the burrs. The motor, by the way, is kind of on the small side. It's a 70 watt motor turning at 550 RPM. But it does a quick job of grinding, that's for sure. You get about 1.5 grams per second on here. And that leads me to a point that I really enjoy about using this grinder. It's fast and simple to use. What I like to do is simply tear out my scale. What I do is just press on this pulse button for about 10 seconds, I just count. Fifteen point two grams right there, and there I got my sixteen grams. So that's super simple to use. I like that a lot. Let's just have a look at the grinds. They are a little clumpy. I will admit that. So here you can see the grinds, and they do come out fairly clumpy. This grinder would certainly benefit from doing some WD teen. That's for sure. But I enjoy using it. This machine also comes with a catch bin here. So you can remove this little catch cup holder, put the catch cup in there, and you can grind like that too. So that's maybe a little bit nicer for doing uh, pour over coffee, drip coffee, and so on. I prefer to use this mostly for espresso, although I have used it for pour over, and it works really nice for that as well. So right now I'm on 15 for espresso, and if I go over to pour over, then I go right around, oh, I'd say 24. That works well for me. But anyway, let's just load up the porta filter and see what kind of shot we can get out of this grinder. So, using the Dedica today. All right, let's go ahead and pull our shot. All right, 
15 grams, 20 grams, and 32 grams in 31 seconds. All right, so there's my shot right there. You can see very nice and creamy. And I have been getting pretty good results with this grinder. Yeah, the grinder does a nice job. I get a pretty fair amount of body out of it and I do get a little sweetness. I do admittedly also get a little astringency, but that might have something more to do with my bean or with my espresso machine. Might need to dial that in a little bit better, but it certainly grinds fine enough for espresso and it's got a decent amount of resolution, right around five seconds on your extraction per click on here. So, what else does this grinder come with? A little brush for cleaning, and it comes with these washers. So these are like spacers in case you need to grind finer. And I find that I do not need to grind any finer at all. So I will not need to be using those, but they're there. And what else is interesting is it comes with this set of directions. Who cares about directions? Well, I do because what's interesting is I see that, I know Barazza is an American company and that they sell their products mostly in America, but this is in lots of different languages, Polish, German, Arabic, and so on, many different languages. So I do think that if you don't see this grinder in your market now, you may see it in the future. That is the Barazza ESP grinder. Those are my initial impressions Using it so far, it's a capable grinder, grinding for espresso at an economical price. It's easy to take apart for cleaning. It's also very easy to use. It's pretty fast as well at 1.5 grams per second. So all in all, this is a grinder that I can certainly recommend for espresso. And what's cool is that you can use it also for other brew methods. All right guys, I hope that you liked this video. That was helpful for you. If so, give it a like, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now. <laughs>